The Menton Association of Local Governments in the state are carrying out dredging of waterways and streams across the state to prevent flooding during rainy season. This is to keep to the promise made to the people to ensure safety of lives and property. Rafi Hamid reports. The rainy season is expected to start in a few months. As usual, Governor Dibu Yegaitola directed dredging of all rivers and streams in the state as part of proactive measures to prevent flooding. The exercise is being flagged off here at Olumesi Stream in Edwaba. It has been there for long. Even the first time the dredging uh, took place, the water was not flowing well. But we thank Mr. Governor for taking it worthy that this place should be dredged. It has become a nuisance to the entire community because this uh, stream, as we are looking at it, transcends the whole event. A number of property around the areas have been abandoned due to past experience of flooding in the community. Uh, the last time something of this nature was done uh, was actually um, close to a decade. The dredging is being supervised by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Environment and Sanitation and the Bureau of Social Services. And Mr. Governor, in collaboration with Argon, has decided again to carry out this dry season dredging so that we can have qualitative and quantitative dredging. The width can be widened, the depth can be dug. And uh, you can see the embankment, the material dug, when put by the size, the embankment, during the dry season, it will form a sort of hard, stony embankment. The exercise is taking place simultaneously with the grading of 345 rural roads across the state. I think it's a good development which the people of the society in our state must give kudos to the God. The exercise is supposed to be carried out in almost all parts of the state where we have threats to life and property. The governor recently paid millions of naira for the rehabilitation of the transformer that provides electricity for the people of Ife North local government. 17 local governments in Osho state were said to be prone to flooding by NIMET last year. But due to proactive measures put in place by the state government, the state experienced flooding only in three local governments. The special advisor to the governor and environment promised that government not give room for loss of lives and property through such disaster this year. Rafi Hamid, TVC News.